for mistake in life and I'm gonna do the old-fashioned way so without any tap it's way too complicated to transcribe I think because it's a it's an improvisation a studied improvisation uh, I know what I'm gonna do it how I'm gonna do it and when that's the question anyway we're in standard tuning there are my E's and this is played out of the key of E. And I think the main difficulty will be to keep that bass going. And it's a mix of a, it's a monotonic bass, but it's a mix of, well, four beats to the bar or a shuffle. And it is slightly muted. I'm not placing my hand on the bridge, so you get the com that continuous muffled bass, no. You see, I'm not resting on the bridge. Slightly touching the strings, the bass strings, with this part of my hand. And trying to get first open and then muted.
So that first lick is fourth string, second fret, open third, second fret, slide to the fourth fret, and then adding the D on the second string. And it follows the vocal, so how you hit it. I, I, I try to hit it that the last words are like that. I met a handsome stranger, persuaded her to be. No, persuaded her to be my wife. That goes to the third fret. Also a returning lick, sliding to the third string, fourth fret, and playing the second string in union. And then a quick, like that, and mute it by placing my picking fingers on the strings. So far, I met a handsome stranger. Slide down, persuaded her to be my wife. And you see the the shuffle bass is mainly in between the words. I met a handsome stranger. Persuaded her to. and I'm playing with my two fingers the third and the second string don't play that open string it's it's then you lose some of the darkness of the song Seven. Up, down, and then a triplet, which I do often, in between as a sort of transition, in between chords, play a triplet and open strings. And it always sounds good if you play open strings followed by chords, for example. The E, now with an A. B7. Always sounds good. So. That's what I did in the practice. Bending the third string, third fret, and do the bend with two fingers. Much easier. Oh yeah, and I did a bass run in the introduction as well. Running up the fifth string, open first and second, open fourth string, second fret, fifth string, and then a pull off, first fret, second, a fifth string. Uh, uh, when we go back, not the second fret.
Amen. And then for the A part, well with the A chord, I play only, you can, you can do use a bar or the cowboy chord, second string, uh, sorry, second fret, third string and second fret, fourth string. So I'm um, picking together, pinching, followed by that open, third and open, fourth. Uh, and the singing starts when you do the E7. to the B7, I'm slightly touching like that, the open first and second string. Sliding up to the sixth string to the third, well, fourth fret. To go to the A chord again, I'm that open third fourth string and then the A chord. I wanna tell you people I made a mistake in life. The solo is well all Lightning Hopkins, and if you check out my version of uh, that woman named Mary, you will see a lot of variations in their step four. But basically, it's open E string, 
and then second string eight fret ten fret and bending like crazy use three or at least two fingers I use two fingers the third and the second and I rest my index finger on those other strings because if you bend very hard you see I accidentally when I get went down played the open third string because my fingers hooked after it so if you do that you're not gonna have that sorry adding the pinky to the 10th fret and pull up and the 9th fret the 3rd string the E Lightning mostly uses the open string then notice the, the bass and notice that I Drop the shuffle bass when I play the run. Yeah, I took to the the bass goes to the A string. Something like that, so many variations to be played. Sixth fret, third string, fifth fret, second string, and seventh fret. And you can play. Yeah, baby king. In between a double bass. Back to the E, playing first and second string in unison. I can't remember what I exactly did, but the principle is you play something going the second string from the fifth fret to the third fret, the fourth, the third string from the fourth fret to the second fret, open, and your fourth string second fret. And all that while you're playing as a drone with my middle finger, the open E string. Note the muting. A million variations possible. fourth fret second string until you get a unison with the first string same thing on the third string but on the third fret all right I think you get the picture and again, typical light in Hopkins. Note the dynamics. Fourth string, second fret, open third. Playing that E, E7 chord. And then your B7. that lick before in another song. Partial A, A7, third fret, first string, second fret. 
second string, and then you bend the whole thing. And then you go to a partial E7 chord, just fretting the second string on the third fret. And then third string, second fret. But the difficulty is, of course, the transition and the muting. Done with the picking fingers. See my middle finger stopping that first string. And since I'm picking, use the the YouTube slow down function. If you're watching with a computer, you can see in the right bottom corner a little cogwheel. Click on it and you will see that you can adjust the speed and keep the pitch. If you're watching from a tablet or a phone, it's in the right top corner, somewhere there. Uh, you see three little dots, click on it and you will have the options. Then I did another solo, very short, with the bass strings. Something like that. And I picked temp and index at the same time. So on the fifth string, temp and index, seventh fret, fourth string, fifth fret, going seventh fret, third string. together those strings to get overtones sometimes. And sounds even cooler if you do it with, without a turn pick. Alright, I guess this is about it. What I did I do? What did I do at the end? chord. It's your E7 and you place your third finger on the second fret first string. And you get a very cool chord there. So that's it. Have fun with it.